More than 50% of the world's population live in cities today and this will increase in the future. So it's important how we design uh, buildings and infrastructure, not only uh, with respect to the resources that are used to construct and maintain the structures, but also how we design them so that they can support a more sustainable lifestyle. So first we shape buildings and then they will shape how we can use the built environment. So it's important to support more sustainable lifestyles, but also it's important to have the, uh, a human-centered perspective so that people can be healthy and happy. For this to happen, we need a holistic approach. We don't only need to, uh, to engage architects and engineers, we need to engage a, a broader perspective of knowledge areas and also different actors in society. We need to engage users, politicians, the building industry, uh, developers, uh, and together we have to create a vision, a positive vision, something we we're heading towards, and we have to work together to uh, realize this. Is, is there another of the uh, SDGs that you find interesting or important mm -hmm. and how does it connect with SDG 11? I have chosen uh, goal number 12, uh, ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. It's important for us as architects and engineers to understand how people use the built environment and what are their wishes and needs. And in order to do that we have to study how uh, people live and uh, want to live. So here we are in the HSB Living Lab, which is a built-in uh, purpose-built uh, purpose facility here at the Chalmers uh, campus, uh, where people live. It's a full-scale lab laboratory uh, where people uh, live and we can measure uh, how they use resources and uh, also how they move in, uh, in their uh, dwellings. And we can also test new uh, support new solutions, new uh, technologies, but also ways of constructing uh, dwellings so that uh, to test if how, how they work in, in real life. So for example, in my research, uh, we're working on the, a more circular kitchen at the moment, and we will build here a full-scale uh, prototype. In, in Sweden, we did uh, a lot of studies of kitchens. Uh, in the 1930s and 40s. And the kitchen we have today, for example, it's uh, built on the knowledge uh, from that time. But today people live in very different ways. We have different cultures, uh, different uh, family constellations, and we really need to have uh, insight studies of uh, how people want uh, their kitchen to be signed today. Not only for serving their purposes, but also to find solutions which are more circular, where people can adapt and uh, make it more fl I mean, flexibility is something which is very important for people today. Flexible in that sense, that it can be rebuilt by the owner, take out parts and uh, put new pieces. It can be the whole, whole, whole parts of the kitchen or it can be just uh, doors. And then uh, when they change that part, that part should be taken back again in the system. It should be reused not only transformed into energy or burnt. Mm -hmm.